So they say 2020 was the year of the dunks. Looks like 2021 is gonna be the exact same thing and even more when you have a collaboration. It just seems to be that much sweeter. And that is something that you don't see quite often on this channel is dunks and let alone collaboration when it comes to dunks. But in 2021, I really wanna give you guys a lot more. So for today's review, let's do just that. Welcome to Technology once again. I'm your boy Troop. This is your first time checking into the channel, checking it out. I appreciate you guys for stopping through. You could be watching anybody else, but you chose to be right here, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy every bit of this review. If you are a reoccurring subscriber, thank you guys so much for allowing me to use my platform to bring glory and honor to Christ. What I mean by that is, if you click on this. If you click on this link right here, it's going to be two playlists, The Word and Jays and Truth Tuesday. Every Tuesday and Sunday, I connect my love for sneakers with the Word of God. For everybody that's new here, scroll to some of the content. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. It helps the channel grow, get my content out to more viewers. And also, hit that notification bell so you can get notified anytime I drop any videos. Been doing a lot of things, been putting in a lot of work. And I hope you guys are enjoying it, man. The whole objective and goal outside of spreading the word of God through shoes is to show you guys sneakers. Just in case you're on the fence about it, whether it's a reach back, whether it's just anything, anything I touch, you guys will see on this channel. And I'll give you my honest opinion about it to help you guys make that decision, a choice, whether you want to drop that bread on a sneaker or not. With all that being said, you guys see the thumbnail. Let's get right up into it. So for many people, they've been having really big struggles when it comes to dunks over the last one to two years, I'm going to say, especially on the sneakers app, it's been like super hard. The pandemic hit. It's been hard to grab um, dunks. So I'm not a big dunk person. I don't have one in my collection. And Well, I have one. And that's the Tur Duncan. If you look right here, that's going to be the video of that. And, but outside of that, I don't have any dunks in my collection. So to be able to review a dunk is always a blessing and an honor. And like I said, I'm going to try to bring you guys more dunk reviews because it seems like that's what everybody want to see so to each his own rock what you like you know what i'm saying i always tell you guys that so this is one that came off the sneakers app as you guys can see right here i do have the box here i've already opened it because i just wanted to see it you know what i'm saying this one came out i want to say it's been about two weeks now um this is a this is a sneaker that um the resale is pretty decent it's not through the roof so if you guys after seeing this review if you guys really think that you're interested in copping this shoe go ahead and pull the trigger man like i said StockX and goat, goat prices are not that bad so i've done a lot of talking you guys see this orange and white nike box right here and you guys do see that that price tag right there this is a size 12 the retail was 150 dollars and it's the nike dunk high no trade midnight navy midnight navy I really wanted to cop this pair that you see on the screen but i tried and um i would think i was on raffi's live and stuff like that and i we tried we tried we tried and we took a bunch of l's on that one which was super limited so the resale for this one is this sale colorway is extremely crazy but hitting on this one this was um an absolute blessing to be honest with you because at least like i said i got content for you guys and um yeah man you get to see what they look like together so as you guys can see on the screen as you see we have that orange and white nike box like we always do we're gonna open up the top of this box we're gonna peel back this paper and we do have the nike high dunk no tray in the midnight navy colorway so this sneaker is one of those sneakers that um I feel like the pictures don't do it justice. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of detail on it. We're gonna go over that when we get up close and person with this shoe. The thing about dunks is, is one thing I'm noticing is, is that they do pay a lot of attention to detail when it comes to making these things. So if you can get your hands on them for 150, 100, 110 dollars, it's just a no-brainer, man. They're cheaper than Jordans, and the quality, to be honest with you, is better than them for the most part. So as you guys see that 360 view on the screen, starting with the butt end, we got this. Um, it's almost like fur man like the super thick material in the back with a little bit of net meshing behind it that looks like 3m on the pull tab going around the outer sole suit we have, do have a white and blue outsole and then we do have this the same material on the nike swoosh and then it's like baby blue leather smooth leather not nothing tumble or anything to go crazy about behind the nike swoosh the toe box 
um, you do have the same smooth leather and then you have that fur material on the inner side of the shoe it's the exact same thing except for the Nike check is different we're gonna talk about that and then on the bottom of the shoe we do have that blue uh, outsole it's a very nice shoe very well put together um, like I said they paid attention to detail so let, let's go ahead and get up close and personal we can talk about the collaboration behind this sneaker um, no tray as you guys can see right here it's a company um, based out of Chicago in the two owners of that company they had one dunk each and this one is the midnight navy colorway and as they, they're hard workers and they want to pay homage to the fact that they are hard workers you know more mechanics type thing so they want that heavy duty um kind of mechanic looking sneaker so that's why you have this patch that you see right here on this one it says no tray and it's in that that thick round that rectangular patch kind of looking like a mechanic but you still got the nike behind it and then on this one you don't have that on this one you just have the nike check on that one and then going around around the outer of the shoe like i said the material is crazy as you guys can see right here it looks like a mechanic like rag that's what it really looks like going on on the nike check you have the baby blue behind it and then on the toe box is the same type of material um not nothing crazy about the leather on the toe box like i said and then on the booty of this thing because it's hard work mechanic mechanic we're gonna go ahead and you know what i'm saying you gotta make sure this thing alive Smack test approved for these dunks, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, on the butt end of the sneaker, you have that same, um, you have that same material, and then it's like a tan and gray netting right there, as you guys can see. I want to say this pull tab does have three in. 3M behind the perforations there, but I'm not 100% sure. Don't count me on that. On the inner side of the shoe, we have the exact same thing. But the most unique thing outside of this patch on this sneaker is going to be the little shake right here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's that logo for the No Trade, what they stand for. Very dope that they took the Nike swoosh that's wrapping all the way around the sneaker and they got it, you know, with the handshake. And that's on both of the sneakers, both the left in the right one you know what i'm saying so very very dope addition down on the shoe strings you do have white and blue on the shoe strings so i'm going to show you the, the other pairs of sh shoelaces that do come with it so we have the white come on focus and then we have kind of like a beige color which i think the beige colors would go fire in these things you know what i'm saying that's just my opinion but i'm probably not going to unlace them because like i said um I don't even know what's going to happen with these sneakers, to be honest with you. But you guys, let me know down in the comment section. How do you feel about them? Are they a must cop? If you are a dunk head, is this something that you want to add to your collection? Right now, the resale is sitting right around uh, $285 before shipping fees and all that stuff coming from StockX and GOAT. So probably ship to your door. You're looking at $305 if you're looking for this shoe, which is a $105 sneaker, which is not that bad. It just really depends on how bad do you want this sneaker. But like I said, the bottom of the shoe is just navy blue. Really dope. Um, yeah, man, Not a, like I said, not a bad sneaker. But you guys let me know down in the comment section. What do you think about this sneaker? Would you have done anything differently on this like I always ask? You guys already know we are on our race to 10K by the end of the year. Hey, if y'all can share the video, if y'all can subscribe, support the channel, press that like button. It'll really help your boy grow. So that way I can get my word, my message out to more people, man. And I appreciate the love and support thus far. Hey, rock what you like now was hype. Wash them hands, man. And remember, these shoes behind me, this shit right here. Look at that thing. They're just bait. A way for me to share my faith, man. You guys be blessed, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I'm gone. Faith, hard work, and dedication is the means. If they fresh out the box, then you got to keep them clean. There's that knowledge in your walk when you step on the scene. Knowledge. Ain't no apology. Don't make it hard, man. It ain't trigonometry.